Hi, this is GM Props. Well, Myron has done it again. He's come out with an excellent tricorder prop replica. This is the Nemesis PDA or pad style tricorder. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, what I had to do, is I had to create some electronics that will fit inside this fabulous prop. So, uh, in this video, you're going to see exactly how uh, you should be installing the electronics inside. There are three circuit boards for this Nemesis tricorder. The first board is the head, head scanning board which goes into the flip out area of your tricorder. This fits right inside here. The second board is your uh, control panel board which goes across the top. These contain the geo MET, bio lights, the AB, library lights, and the power light. The last board is a custom board that I created specifically for this tricorder. Since the original Hero Prop used a lenticular display uh, that was too expensive for us to produce, I came up with this custom board that contains another 22 LEDs plus another 8 scanning LEDs uh, that are used effectively to simulate a medical diagnostic screen. When the boards are assembled, they're, they look like this, but uh, they do not go in like this. They actually have to go in in two sets. The first one that has to go in is the, uh, the headboard, the head scanning board with its 22 lights, and it has to be attached to two wires that are inside, that are inside this uh, uh, flip-out portion of the tricorder. That get, these two wires provide power for that, uh, for that board to run. Now for demonstration purposes, I've already connected the, this board to the other boards for power. Okay, the second board, the Geomet Bio control panel board, um, has all the lights attached already here and uh, is ready to go. Uh, the view screen board is all assembled and a couple features about the view screen board, it also contains the sound and it contains the battery, which is one small 3.7 volt iPod shuffle battery, which can be recharged through this charging port right here. And uh, right now it is in charge mode through this switch. Uh, normally when the tricorder is fully assembled, uh, there is a read switch located right here, uh, which will turn all the power off. But if you need to store the uh, tricorder for long periods of time, you can always switch the tricorder into uh, charge mode. Okay, so we went ahead and painted the tricorder body and installed one of the head scanner boards. Just before we painted the body, we did what I believe is the most difficult part of this installation. Inside the main body, above the Geomet bio lights, are two brass rods in these indents. These are, these are connected directly to the wires going to the head scanner board. You will need to solder a wire to each of these, these bars as I have done here. In order to solder anything to the brass, first make sure it has been cleaned thoroughly. Then apply a small amount of soldering uh, flux to the brass. Now you will need to heat a small area of the clean brass with your soldering iron. Now use a proper pencil style soldering iron, not one of those huge soldering guns meant for larger applications. When the brass is hot enough, the solder will melt onto the surface and you can then attach the wire. Let it cool and then test the connection by pulling lightly on the wire. If it immediately comes off, then you will need to try again. To be absolutely positive the new connections are good, connect a 4 to 6 volt power source to the leads. If the display begins to run, then you are good to go.
The second set of boards include the GeoMet Biocontrol Board and the custom view screen board with the sound and rechargeable battery. Before we install the boards, we should quickly test them. The board comes with a switch in charge mode. If it is placed in run mode, the full circuit will activate. The GeoMet BioBoard contains the power read switch. This read is encapsulated in glass and is very fragile, so be careful with it. There is a magnet embedded into the scanner head housing which will be aligned with the read switch once the board is installed. With the scanner head flipped closed, Against, and against the main body. Go ahead and install your GeoMet BioBoard. You'll have to take the whole assembly because it's all connected as one unit. So if everything's aligned correctly, the power will go out. Now you can align the boards and get your battery and, and speaker module into a good position. But the main thing here is to align your GeoMet bio board. So reactivate it by opening it up and making sure the GeoMet bio, the AB library, and power lights are on. Right now we do not have the head scanner board attached, but we will attach that in a, in a moment. And then you can take your once that's in place, that's aligned, you can just put a touch of, of uh, hot glue directly onto the corners to hold it into place. And then you'll want to do your same thing with your view screen board. You want it to be in optimal position. And I'll tell you the optimal position for the view screen board is you want the white lights along these two sides and you want the body scan lights to go up through the middle of the bodies here. Once you have that exactly in the right position, then just close it up, turn it off, keep it held there and put a dab of glue. Be careful with the glue against this view screen graphic. It's a little sensitive because it's sensitive to heat. There you have it. Now you can go ahead and connect the wires from the head scanner contact bars to the two leads from the GeoMet bio board. Actually they're connected here already. Then tuck these wires out of the way. So we'll just tuck them inside here and just make sure when you tuck them away that you're not letting that, uh, that exposed cop copper or uh, solder contact any other part. So what I do is I tuck them right away into the corners here where there's the hot glue so they're insulated against any other contacts. So they're nicely tucked away there. When you're finished, then you, all that needs to be done is you can uh, go ahead and test everything. Looks good. And if it looks good, you may as well go ahead and finish your tricorder. That pretty well completes the electronics installation. Your finished tricorder should look something like this. Thanks for watching.